YouTube friends, Ben here, and today's video is a short, uh, short video to take a look at the Buchochromus spectabilis. Buchochromus spectabilis, and um, this is a fish that I did a little research on. Went to several websites. I have three of them in here that I picked up from Live Fish Direct. One of them there. More of a sleek, long and sleek uh, fish, not quite as uh, pronounced in the uh, shape of the head like the Buchochromus nodotania. Uh, so it doesn't have quite that unusual shape like um, like a Buchonoto, no, no. But still, very good looking fish. And I picked up three of them from Live Fish Direct and they're starting to uh, get some size. One of them seems to be more assertive. He has the darker face, if I can find him here. Perhaps that's him back there. There he is, yeah. He tends to chase the other two around. I went to several websites doing a little bit of research and got some com got some conflicting reports like I get unfortunately when I do uh, look into fish and um, what I found out was that in some in some at some websites it was reported that he gets he's a relatively small buco but at other websites it claimed that he got up to 16 inches at cichlid forumcom it said he got up to 16 inches which is not a small fish so if a hobbyist didn't check around, he could actually end up thinking that it's a smaller fish and could, and could live in a 60 or a 90 gallon tank. And if cichlid form is correct, this fish is gonna need a, a very large tank, maybe even larger than the 135 I have now. Here's a picture of an adult male and you can see they get a beautiful uh, blue sheen on their body. A very different shape from uh, the normal Bukunono that we're used to looking at. Their head isn't quite as square. They're more of a long, sleek type of fish. And here's a picture of an adult male taken by Ad Konings, one of the uh, godfathers of, uh, of the hobby. As you can see, they get quite pretty. So I'm looking forward to watching um, watching these little bucos put on some size and, um, and hoping that one of them does, in fact, turn out to be a male. And I suspect it's gonna be the one that has the, the black face and asserts, asserts himself continuously throughout the tank, this fellow here. The rest of the fish, as you can see, are doing well. The Red Empress continues to uh, become more and more spectacular. Intermedius is looking great. And I've got some good news on the um, I was able, for those of you that watched my last video, the little rant I had about lighting, I, uh, I have been able to secure some lights and uh, get them onto the 135. A couple uh, beams works, beams work units, 36 inch. I ordered the full spectrums, but Top Dog over at Amazon, I think sent me a uh, a light with only blue and white when the one I ordered had uh, red and greens in it as well but he might have sent me the might have sent me the wrong light but I but I like the uh, brightness of it I might end up keeping it I reached out to him to see what he has to say but um, there's the John Stoney 
might do a video on this guy next. Very, very pretty fish. Let's take a look at the 135. You can see um, just how bright those uh, beadswork light units are. 236 units, 236 inch units um, with blue and white. As you can see, the uh, beanswork lighting is exceptional. And again, this is a 72 inch uh, wide tank. And the way it's set up with uh, two 36 inch, two 36 inch units, and they're standing on those little uh, plastic plastic guides there, those little, <clears throat> so they're up, elevated off the top of the tank. And you can see they're hardwired. <clears throat> they're actually hardwired, which I like. It's not a plug-in jack like the Aqua Need I had before, so it's going to be less likely to get uh, corroded from humidity. So I'm very happy with the lighting. You can see the colors are popping pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with these beans work, beans work units. The Aqua Neat was a softer light, and it did include red and green, which this one, this one was supposed to include, but I'm still happy overall. So that's it for now on the uh, Buchachromus Spectabilis. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in and watching, and uh, be sure to check out the other uh, Juvie Hap Nation series, the one through nine, and um, come by the uh, Ben O Apostrophe Cichlid Facebook page and uh, enter into some conversation with other cichlid, cichlid and uh, tropical fish lovers, and follow on Instagram Ben dot O dot Cichlid. And thank you very much. That's it for now. Bye bye.